Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix Fallout 3 on Windows 7. Now, for every Windows 7 user that has Fallout 3, you'll notice that every time you try to start up the game, it crashes every time you launch it. So, what causes this is that Windows 7 computers often have a multi-core system. Now, what that means is that your computer is um, basically has multi-cores. Now, an average computer only has one core, but with new generations of technology that's coming out, computers often have dual cores. So, um, I know there's been a lot of fixes on the internet to fix this, uh, such as tweaking the INI file and um, basically just installing D3DL's files. Um, today, this is the only. Today, I'm going to show you the only way how I found that fixes this. So, what you're going to want to do is go and download um, Fallout 1.7 patch, which I'll have in the description below. But basically, what you want to do is go to My Documents my games fallout 3 and you see the fallout.ini file take it and just drag it to your desktop now I know this seems a little weird but trust me it works now what you want to do is launch fallout 3 and it won't crash when you start because as you start playing the game the game will create a brand new fallout ini file based on your system specifications yeah, it sounds weird, but it does work. So that's just go to Documents, My Games, Fallout 3, and delete the Fallout INI file. And that's all you have to do, guys. And update to patch set 1.7. And my computer just had a little spasm there, but that's okay. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. Just update to version 1.7 and delete or move the Fallout.ini file. I recommend moving it so that in case anything goes wrong you can just drag it back to the original location i hope this works and i hope i really helped you guys if i don't please leave a comment or feel free to pm me thanks guys thanks for watching as usual i'll be back with more fallout videos thanks for watching